cape guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome back to some more San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. This is a very special episode, you know why? The Prospects, which is now an MLB pitcher that the Padres just traded for, Noah Syndergaard, is making his debut here in Miami against the Marlins and Matt Latos. I know we just played Miami, but I really wanted to get Syndergaard's debut going and on camera so uh we're gonna go to the top of the first here will myers up to bat and this is a big shot into right each rows going back track gone will myers just the second batter of the game puts the padres up one nothing on the opposite field home run into right matt latos cannot believe that and will myers is already helping out his friend noah Syndergaard. As he hits that one, 345 feet. Next batter, Matt Kemp. Full count. He is hitting this one. Opposite field. Ichiro's going back. He's at the track, but he'll make the catch this time. As Matt Latos gets a couple of scares early on in this one. Next batter, 2-2 pitch to Upton. And he is swinging on that low changeup. And he will strike out. So here we go. The debut for Noah Syndergaard, who was 5-6 this year in AAA with the Las Vegas 51s with the 268 ERA and 140 strikeouts the man out of Dallas Baptist University so we'll see here if we can see all three of his outs his first three outs in the majors here in Miami first batter this is Hecheveria I believe he's hitting this one into center pretty good contact Will Myers is there after hitting that home run he is getting the first out for Noah next batter Ichiro Suzuki Full count. He's hitting this one over to short as Escobar makes that throw over to first. And that is the second out. Trying to retire the side all at once here for his debut is Syndergaard. But he'll have to get through this man. Christian Yelich. And the 2-1 pitch is hit down the left field line. And that is fair. That's going to be extra bases for Yelich as Upton is getting it now. Throwing it in to the cutoff man. But it's too late. Yelich is in there with a double. So Syndergaard can't go 1-2-3 here in the first inning. But uh, maybe he can here with Ozuna up to bat, and he will as the strikeout comes through big, and Ozuna is down on strike. So a successful first inning aside from that two-out double from Yelich. And we will continue now in the top of the second. Derek Norris up to bat, back in the lineup, and he is showing why as he hits that one into the left center field gap. That's going to be extra bases, and he is in there with a stand-up double here in this second inning. Austin Hedges comes out, he goes in, and he is doing work. That will bring in Jed Jerko, which got out of his slump last game that you guys saw, and he's helping out here with an RBI single into center as that throw is dropped by Saltilamakia. That allows Norris to score, and it is 2-0 Padres. So, Jed Jerko looking good so far in these last couple of games. Next inning, yeah, Michael Morris, he's down. That's another strikeout. Second career strikeout for Syndergaard. Will Myers up to bat, trying to do some more work after hitting that home run in the first. He is hitting this one into center, and that's going to fall just before Marcelo Zuna. So he will get the single as he is 2-for-2 two two on the day. Next batter, Justin Upton, 0-for-1 so far tonight. Top of the third, Myers on first with two outs, and Upton is not going to be able to do anything with that as he is grounding out to the pitcher Leto. So, next... We'll move to the bottom of the fourth. Base is empty, full count, no outs to Ichiro. And Syndergaard's going to miss with that one. So Ichiro is going to get his base with the walk. Syndergaard not too happy with himself, but he'll have to keep him there as the next batter, Yelich, is up. And he is hitting this one over. Can this be a double play? There's one, and there's two. Jerko Escobar Alonso. That's what we like to see as Yelich hits into the double play. And now that will bring up Marcelo Zuna once again. Full count, two outs, base is empty, and he's hitting this one deep into the left corner. That will stay fair, and it's going to be caught by Upton. Man, that could have been trouble, but Syndergaard gets out of it once again, and now he is up to bat here in the fifth. 
Look how tall he is, man. He's just sitting at the plate. And yeah, I guess uh, Latos wasn't fooled on that one as he strikes him out there on the outside pitch. But you know what? He's not here to hit. He's here to pitch. Latos getting a little bit of pleasure out of that one. But uh, Syndergaard maybe starting to get a little shaky here as he is in the fifth inning. He will go ahead and walk another batter. Now runners on first and second for Michael Morse. Actually, this is Jared Salsalamakia, and that's going to be a play that really can't do anything about. Kent makes the catch, and the runner tags the third. So now there's runners on the corners here for Adani Hechevarria. One out, 2-2 two, two pitch is hit almost in the same spot. Kemp is under it. He should make the catch, and he will. Runner tags from third. Throw home is a decent one, but it is just a tad bit late as... The Marlins get one back. Michael Moore scores, and now it is 2-1. That will do it for Noah Syndergaard's day. Not too shabby. As he'll go five and two-thirds, allowing one run. But uh, you know what? That's pretty much as good as you could ask for for a debut, aside from you know getting a perfect game or anything. So we're bringing in the all-star, Nick Vincent, and he is trying to get out of the inning here, clean things up for Noah, trying to make sure he doesn't get any more earned runs. And... Will Myers makes the catch there, so that's good. And we'll move forward now as Vincent is now in the sixth inning, and he is getting Ichiro there on the outside pitch. Strike three called. Christian Yelich, next batter. Double in the first. He's one for two so far. Two outs, and this is hit into left field. That's going back. Upton is at the track, and he'll make the catch just before the wall. A bit of a scary one there as Christian Yelich. Showing off some power, but it is a no-go. Top of the seventh as we're bringing in the red hot Yonder Alonso. And he takes this one deep into right center. Ozuna's going back. He'll dive, and he won't make the play. Each row's in right. Yonder Alonso's headed to third, and he will make it. Sliding in there with a triple. Ozuna's diving play messes things up for the Marlins. And in fact, he gets injured as his calf is... Not doing too well after that. So they are going to have to remove him from the game as that dive kind of messed things up. So he will leave. And in fact, that will do it for his day and Matt Latos' day. So Redmond comes out, the manager for the Marlins, takes Latos out. He did all right, allowed two runs, not too bad. And now they will bring in Sam Dyson, who is 1-3 on the season with the 5-7-3 ERA. And to replace Ozuna, they're bringing in Don Kelly into center as... Christian Yelich is the only starter now in left with Stanton out in right. Jerko up to bat now. He is hitting this one over to short. Hechevri is there. And he makes the play. So, nothing going here in the seventh for the Padres. We'll bring in Austin Hedges in the eighth for a pinch hit opportunity. As the one-two pitch is coming from Dyson, he deals. And that is a nasty pitch inside the strike zone. Hedges can't do anything about that. He thought that was the ball. So did I. And he is down on strikes. And so is Escobar. Same exact pitch gets Escobar, and man, Dyson was dealing there. So we'll bring in Benoit here to set up things for Kimbrel in the ninth. He's two and three on the season, and they will bring in JT Romuto to pinch hit. One one pitch to him, and that is hit in the center for a base hit. So hopefully uh, on the Marlins side of things, maybe they can get something going. We'll have to see. As we are still going here, Ichiro up to bat. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Ichiro is down once again on strikes, and the inning is over. Guys, do you know what time it is? It's Craig Kimbrell time. 2-2 two two on the season with the 3-4-1 ERA. The monster Craig Kimbrell is beasting it up. The only reason he doesn't have more saves than 29 is the fact that we've just been uh, doing very well. Sometimes he doesn't even get the save or doesn't get a chance to get the save opportunity because we were winning by so much. This time... He's getting the first out of the game. Upton catches in foul territory. That's one down, two to go. You see that he is, uh, what is that, fourth, sixth? Yeah, sixth in the National League for saves. As he'll come in facing Don Kelly, the replacement center fielder for Ozuna. And he is striking out for the second out of the ninth. Michael Morris, last hope for the Marlins. Can he tie up the game in the bottom of the ninth? No, sir. Strikeout ends the game. The Padres win this one 2-1 over the Marlins here in Miami. The debut was a successful one for Noah Syndergaard. He will not get the win. He'll get a no decision, in fact. But you know what? He needs to be proud. Keep his head up. He didn't do anything wrong. He only allowed one run and helped the Padres 
get the win. They only scored two, but he allowed one. So 2-1, to one, your final score in Miami. Nick Vincent, the winning pitcher. And your player of the game is Craig Kimbrell. Even though he didn't do much besides save the game, I guess that's good. But he did get two strikeouts. That is going to do it for today's episode of your San Diego Padres franchise. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. We'll see you for the next episode. We'll see you tomorrow for some Challenge Wednesday. Other than that, two on your final score. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and as always, peace.